it's time. Hello everyone, Amazing Gamer 111 here, welcoming you to the Audrey Extravaganza 3 vlog. Now ladies and gentlemen, pack your bags and book your train tickets, cause folks, we're going to Wales. For those of you unaware of what the Audrey Extravaganza is, allow me to quickly explain it as simply as I can. The Audrey Extravaganza is a celebration of all things Reverend Audrey, the man who created Thomas the Tank Engine, aka the Railway Series, way back in the day. I mean, not to make any of you older fans feel old. Uh. The Extravaganza is held on a lovely little narrow gauge railway called the Tally Lynn Railway in Tewin. Tywin? Twin? Ted? How do they ever do do? And there'd be multiple special trains being pulled by narrow gauge engines, like Duncan's Pop Special or or his Goods Train. We there was Rusty there as well. There was a whole bunch. You, you'll see it all in the footage, but you get the idea. It was a great weekend. I believe it started Friday the 21st of July and ended on the 23rd on Sunday. There were popular Thomas YouTubers there, smaller Thomas YouTubers there, people I actually know from my own community were there too. I even got recognized. It was rather awesome and you guys are going to see all about it in this vlog today. Also before we begin I want to give a huge thank you to Thomas Lawrence and Little Owl. Thomas Lawrence specifically because he was able to arrange this entire trip for us. We would literally have no video footage to work with today. This video wouldn't exist without him so Thomas thank you so much and I really hope that all three of us are able to go again next year. This was a blast. It was really nice meeting both of you in person. You're such really good people and I just can't wait to, to show you all what we did. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the Audrey Extravaganza 3 vlog. Enjoy. So after leaving town and station name with Helds to London Victoria to the Paddington Underground up to Paddington Station, with some stowaways I set off to Cardiff Central to meet up with the boys. And uh, it was, uh, it was kind of a boring trip, so uh, here's some stock footage. Cause we all love stock footage in the Thomas fandom, yeah! <laughs> Okay, I think that's enough filler. Let's go see the guys. So guys, yeah, I literally just turned up to, like, literally, I'm just in Cardiff for no reason. There's Thomas, as usual. Hi. Th just no reason, and... Look who we ran into! Who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is that Jack the VA? Oh, from YouTube. That's me. Little, little Owl 2003 and Thomas Lawrence. Hi. Oh my god. Words cannot describe how excited I was to finally meet these two after so long of talking to them online, arranging this whole thing, and here we were, finally all together, and we grabbed some snacks from Tesco's, grabbed the train, and we were on our way, and, well, shenanigans ensued along the ride. Here we see a Charlie Stone in his natural habitat. He is a tryhard, a switch, you might call it. He was already 100% of the game, but he is doing it again, do it again, for no reason, okay. other than the fact that he doesn't have a life. And now, the great and mighty Obis shall perform a song for the Thomas fans. Here we go. I know how the moon must feel. Looking down from the heavens, smiling at the silly things we put ourselves through. Missing magic each day, and not seeing the wonder that's how they move. 
Backflip! With the Mario Brothers! Cows. Moo. Moo. Off the train at last we were. Mmm. And on our way to our hotel at the beach in Upper... Uh, but sorry. How's it pronounced again, Thomas? Abaris... Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Take it in, audience. You're not going to see it on any other video on Jackson <laughs> ever. No, you're right. Because I'm English, bitch. So we made it. We're at the room. Woo! We got. We're alive. We got alive. And we got bird shit on the window. It's, a, it's such a full, full uh, passing gift. It awesome. really like, is. It really like, is. And the seagulls are so pets because we're not saying that there's some letters. Yeah, we have some visitors. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you get the shitting on my chips every other thing. <laughs> yeah. Where did you say the Wi-Fi thing was? Oh, he said it was on some paper. Is that what this is? Don't show the camera, otherwise people will try to steal the Wi-Fi. Don't worry, it's, it's facing me and my horrible hair that I should have gotten cut before coming here. Come on, bro, self-love. Beautiful hair, beautiful hair, okay? I'm gonna try and not get the paper in the shot. There we go, tea and kettle. All looking good. Teen Kessel, did you say? T teen Kessel. Oh, I thought you said Team Kessel. Team like, Kessel. Is that, is that gonna be like us three? Like Team Kessel. Kessel. Yeah. <laughs> Team Kessel. Team Kessel. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep in here. I think I'm just gonna sleep in this closet. There we go. Where's Charlie gone? Charlie, I thought you came out. Oh, yeah. Surprised you didn't come out of the closet sooner. Is that a gay joke? <laughs> Maybe. My back has too much of figuring out the sleeping positions right now, so I'm gonna just <laughs> crack my back on one of them. We, um, just have, we just have one half of Charlie just lying on this bed, and the other half. Yeah, just like, lying. I'll be the bridge between the beds. You'll be the bridge, yeah. <laughs> Mind your head when you wake up in the morning. Just oh, yeah. Say. I'm used uh, to this. I used to live in a room that had this, so I'm, I'm mean, used to that. If we keep the camera alive until he wakes up, and then he just goes, just goes Jack, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, hey, Jack, Jack wake yes. up. Ow. Uh, and it's like the most like stock blender lamp in the world as well. <laughs> that's like a default that's like a default lamp you get in Unity <laughs> yeah. or Unreal Engine 4. Quite a nice crib we got here when you say peeps. Oh yeah. That's probably the cringiest thing I've ever said in my entire life, but um oh well we'll take it. And would you take a good look at this? Yes, I'm slightly ducking right now because it's very, very tall in here. <laughs> yeah so train ride was very unstressful. And I am currently chilling with the peeps. We are contemplating what to do tonight. But um, it's very, it's clear as day what we will be doing tomorrow, as that is the reason why we have come to this wonderful establishment. We are going to the Audrey Extravaganza in Toen, in Tallyflynn, in Wales. So exciting that I'm actually talking in this voice. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh yes, you're doing it as well, good oh, boy. Oh, 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 lovely, oh, yeah. lovely. We have moved. It's nice to meet someone from my hometown. Also, also, did I imagine? Oh my god, it's the amazing gamer! Oh my god. Whoa, that shot was exciting. Anyways, after that, <laughs> checking in stuff, we were on our way down to Weatherspoons and caught a little band along the way where Jack gave us a beautiful orchestral arrangement. Look at him go. He's just enjoying it. He's just enjoying the moment. That's what this whole thing is about. And man, we had some great we had some great food. They 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 mostly got like water and alcoholic stuff kinda, but I I got apple juice. <laughs> this man's a real non-virgin right here. The apple oh, yeah. juice, come on. Yeah. That is the straightest thing I've ever seen in my life. Cut that out, cut that out, please. Yeah, that's staying in. You keep keeping that in the cut. After the scrum diddly umptious meal right there at Weatherspoons, we made arrangements to grab some snacks from the shops, which we did, and made our way back to the hotel and call up some friends. Hello, people at home. Oh, wait, nobody's watching, are they? <laughs> no. You were saving that joke. You're welcome. You got to use the joke. Yeah, I was waiting to use that. You got to use the joke. Well if done. If he was vlogging, I would have used it on him, okay? Charlie's a chill dude, okay? I have well done. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was a neat effect. I caught that on film. Stitch, Stitch, you're in the vlog. You're in the vlog. So yes, we called Stitch Underground on our VC, and he showed us some really cool behind the scenes of how he did his Muffle Mountain short, which is likely out by now by the time you guys are seeing this, and I feel like other Playrail artists should really take note of how he does these things. It's really interesting. Okay, everyone. Vlog-ceptioning. 
Tomorrow is the day. Yes, tomorrow is the day. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna excuse you. Bless you. Thank you. Yeah, bless you instead. There you go. I swear to God, the edits from back and forth from this are just gonna be hilarious. <laughs> They're gonna be nuts. Yeah. So, tomorrow is the big day. Yeah. And I'm tired. The special, Ooh. special day. No! The special. Get out. <laughs> You're not allowed anymore. Hey, Aaron, hey, Sha Aaron, Aaron. I was about to say Aaron Miller. Aaron Miller. Aaron wow. Miller. You've earned your pass back for that. I was yeah. going to revoke you know your yeah, Audrey I, pass. I, I, I've turned it on. To, I've turned it on to Aaron now. Aaron's another friend who couldn't be here. To be honest, I don't think he could ever make it to one of these because he's got massive fear of flying. So. I have no such problem. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is tomorrow is going to be fun. To be honest, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Tomorrow's going fun. to be very, very fun. Very, very fun. Oh yeah, we're gonna infiltrate so many popular YouTubers' lives tomorrow. It's gonna to be great. Yeah, and they're all gonna either. I know, I know. Some people are planning to infiltrate my lives. I, I think. I don't know. I'm really. definitely infiltrating Luke, and tons. I won't recognize them. Is the thing. I don't know what they look like. I know. I know what they look like all too well. I know like one or two what they look like. <laughs> Obviously, I know what the unlucky tug looks like. But... Yeah. Well, this sounds a bit creepy, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Yeah, it does kind of bit. sound creepy, doesn't it? Yeah, it's well, weird. Let's, let's just say this, guys. Tomorrow we're either gonna end up with becoming best friends with some of the biggest Thomas YouTuber names, or we'll be getting a restraining order. From it wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be bad. To be fair, it wouldn't be bad thing being sociable. To be fair, making yeah. those contacts and stuff like that. So being sociable, I think, is yeah. definitely something, it's something we should try and do tomorrow. And if we don't end up with a restraining order by the end of the day, <laughs> then we're all good. Yeah. Even introverts can be social too, yeah. Beauty of the Thomas fandom, come join. Yeah! We'll see you guys tomorrow morning for when we leave. We will see you guys later. The next day. That is those two stupid The pace that we we promised to get up at like 7 in the morning. Like 7.30 I think. To get up and... Oh god. They haven't gotten up yet. Just gonna have to wait that out, to be honest. We don't need to be there too early, so I don't think. Um, they're gonna fall in and get a bit more shut up. Be ideal, but I just thought this was funny. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Audrey Extravaganza! <laughs> And goodbye. We are at Dovey Junction, and we have to wait over an hour, you said, for the next train. Yeah. And the only problem is, we are in the middle of, of nowhere. nowhere! Literally, there is nothing out here whatsoever. Even across that way, no nothing. Absolutely just, like, look at that. Just stops. Nothing. This kind of just goes. I think this, this is just it. This is the end. The town is the platform. The town is the platform. There's no one here. Except us. Except it's us. It's smaller than the Vatican. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to wait until, when do you say, 11? 11.01. 11.01. Can we get that 01 in yeah? Just we that one that. extra minute of suffering. <laughs> like, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lovely counter to count us down. We're at 9.56, 9.57, 9.57. It's the only thing keeping us amused. No, no, no. Oh, God. So we're just kind of, we're going to kind of wait here. I, I might do some writing. I might do some writing. Do some writing, I might do the same. Well. You're just going to vlog the entire time. The entire, like, one hour of footage, that, like, is going to get cut down to two minutes. Well, I guess. We might as well, we might as well, too fair, too fair, we, we might as well, of course. Yeah, because there's no trains coming through, no so we have the whole platform to ourselves. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in an hour on the next train. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> I see steam. I see. Do you see steam? Where see do you see steam? steam? I see steam. steam. I see steam. Oh, okay, where's go. where's steam? Where? Oh, damn it! Oh, my. oh wait, there it is. There it is. I saw it. I saw. I saw steam. <laughs> There's the handle. Oh my god, this is this is surreal. I can't. I don't even think we're here. Oh look, there's a little. Uh, it's a little Gordon in there. It's cool. You smell that? That's the smell of hard work right there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm tempted.
There's a whole merch store and they are Barkman. They are Barkman here. They are Barkman. I'm not showing the Barkman right oh, now. Oh, no, 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 that, that was non exit. We did not see that. Yes, no, not, not here. <laughs> not here. The sweet wagons. And they're like the tiny ones. They're the new tiny yeah. ones. Oh, that's, that's so cute. That's like a smoky joke. I had smoky joke. It's a big I want to make a story about that now. I want to do a backstory now. That surprises me, you think? Look, you can see Thomas back there behind the church. Thomas walking out the door. Here we go. So many people. All the people. Oh people. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not even focused on like this, like being worried about being social because this is just so amazing. Tell me all of us. Tell me all of us are very small. Like, literally, they are the collection. Oh, what are they like rare as hell? They are. For some reason, no one knows why. They just became rare one day. Following that riveting conversation, the engine of the hour, with a brand new face premiering, entered the station. This is the start of the massive montage of us checking out a bunch of custom trains. These ones being Legos and, well... There's two of them. It's an imposter. It's an imposter. Logception. Logception. Logception! My, my, my older brother and I did it and now we're doing it. I can see my reflection in your in your phone. I can see my reflection in your Yours. phone. <laughs> Oh, Grandpa, whatever happens, smudges. Number two was America, and very pushy. Oh, speaking of engines, there's another one coming in. Oh, hello. Who is that? Hang on. Ivo Q. It's Ivo. It's our next one. Oh, that is the next one. It's the bedstead. It's the bedstead. Oh, yeah, that's the Mark V. I had no idea they'd even made a new face for Duncan. That's so perfect. Honestly, whoever makes these faces deserves some kind of award. They really do. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, I told you. Nice. I told you. I saw him on. Look at this. I brought him on yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say, Duncan? It's no comment. No comment. Yeah. Hey, respect. That is respect. I'm gonna be honest. Rain's making it better. Rain's yeah, making yeah. it more understanding. Yeah, it's making it, yeah. More of a There's more height. Thing. There's more height. Hurry up. Oh. It's okay, Duncan. The only one who's angry. Broke gate, you moron! <laughs> Do you mind? I'm trying to sleep.
None of your beeswax, you asshole. Fuck her off. Yes, my, yes, my testicles dropped very late in life. And soon enough, we went into the cafeteria to grab ourselves some lunch. The boy is getting some chips and such while I had some lasagna, some apple juice, a sausage roll. It was all very delicious and, uh, you'll never guess who sat next to us. Yeah. And you want to know the funniest part? None of the three of us had any idea. I got, I got my lasagna. Lasagna. You're showing yourself eating on camera, which is embarrassing as hell. I don't care. You wouldn't care, would you? Nick Avocado made a career out of this. Oh, yeah, fair. Yeah. I'm not quite so far. We should make a mukbang right here. Yeah. All the extravaganza has a mukbang. Screw the live stream. Do it. Who cares? We're just here. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. We just need to have a good time with fellow Thomas fans and railway enthusiasts. Lunch break is over and it was time to check out some really cool model trains out the front just outside the cafeteria at the main station and holy hell, I gotta say, everyone here did such an amazing job. There is no little effort that's like small here. It is all just phenomenal. Seeing these custom engines of all different brands of like the massive like custom HO doubles and like it was incredible. Just just watch all of this. Oh, look at oh. 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 <laughs> I know, but they look so insanely accurate. It's scary how accurate they are. I just saw a lady. I just saw a lady. You were saying it. You were saying it wasn't possible to do lady. Imagine what the face looks like. Oh, don't care. That's cute, the dog. Uh, Where the blade There you go. Oh, 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 my oh material my girl. Oh, so oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There we go. <laughs> he doesn't like the ribbon anymore. <laughs> they do. Oh, one Wonky Eyes. We've got season two Wonky Eyes. There we go. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Look at this. Rerail. <laughs> That is my uh, personal project I've been working on for the last two months. It's um, uh, 156 pages, 37,000 words. It's just a whole rewrite of the script. It's got elements from the cut, the canon release, the director's cut, and some personal head cans of my own to make it a more cohesive, okay. um, easy to read story. So nice. it's not going to be all over the place with the plot line. It's going to be one linear thing that you can easily follow. Perfect. Okay. It's only released right now for the Audrey event, but then uh -huh. on the 26th for the US anniversary release, that'll be on my Twitter. Okay. okay. Uh, and what is your Twitter? Uh, right here, the Texan Train. Perfect. Everyone, everyone watching, follow this account for more updates on Magic Railroad Rerails. Thank you. Pogs need some love as well. Pogs gonna keep on tugging. It's him! It's my boy! <laughs> I never had an accident. On first whistles and first safety valve accidents. When I was young and green, I remember going to London. You know the place? The station's called King's Cross. King's Cross? London, Houston. Everybody knows that. Rubbish! Rubbish. 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 I know! I work there! But, but Percy just went... <laughs> <laughs> I, Everyone knows tenders are marks of distinction, but I'm afraid <laughs> now tenders will be able to save you in the <laughs> end. Oh, we diesels are taking over! We don't need tenders to be able That's important. <laughs> He was still feeling the same the next day. I'm, I'm not happy. I mean, it's like we're getting pulled by Dirty Percy. Don't call me Dirty Percy! The whole family really is here. Finally, we get that as merchandise. One more engine. One more One more. We got one more. Big finish. We got one more, boys. Drum roll, please. Oh, drum roll. Drum roll. Oh. 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 and whistles. Rushing to and fro, he's a really useful engine we adore. He's the one, he's the one. He's the really useful engine that we adore. He's the one, he's 
the number one. Thomas the Tank Engine. No, we're not. He's got a boot on. My buffer. There's me. I'm oh. sticking with his nose. <laughs> you feeling good there, Diesel? I saw things in that box. No, it's just a little person you're just hiding out in the this truck. Hello. He's posing. He's posing for the camera. Yes, right that is a that is a sexy sexy man. Right there. That's like more thumbnail action. There's so much here. Yeah. We Thomas fans sincerely do not apologize for any of our actions, including the following. Roger <laughs> 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 just laughed. After much praising to Thomas, we're getting on the train. We're getting on, boys. We're getting on. We're getting on. We've been cheering and, and booing and stuff back and forth, and it's been fun. It's time to get on the train with Smudger. Also, since this was the only chance I got. Welcome, Stanley! <laughs> there you go, Smudger. That's the first time I've seen him happy. First time we've seen him genuinely happy, like. Yep. How'd you, how'd you get out of the generator, Smudger? Yeah, you should be in a generator. Maybe that hasn't happened in the real world yet. Oh, it's very well kind of, He heard us. What he was heard? that? What? <laughs> what was that? What did you guys just say about a generator? What did you just say about a generator? Nothing. Who likes the island of Solo? Yeah. yeah. That's where you go when you go to heaven. That's the island of Solo. Yeah, we just go we to Solo. We become a train. We become trains when we die. Well, we all become our cabbies. <laughs> <laughs> After all the cheering, booing, messing about at the station, it was time to head up the mountain. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, all. So long. Sayonara. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. And we were off on our adventure with some rather familiar faces from my own community. Which was surprising to me. So, let's meet them. So, who are we here with? We're here with Little Owl, Thomas Lawrence, Blue Shunter, and do you have a channel? I am Engine Man. Engine so Man, so ding, so it's it right, it's right there. It is the engine. There you go, I've got my amazing engine. gamer shirt. Last promo! Last promo! Another one? No, it's Idle Heels. We've got Idle Heels. Oh, it's Sir Handle! Hand. Oh, it's it's hand. hand. Hello, Sir Handle. Hello, Sir Handle. Hello, Hello, Sir Handle. Hello, Sir Handle. Hey
<laughs> you weren't even in the side. <laughs> now you are. Stopping at one of the stations, we checked out Harold the Shunter's actual massive, like, Thomas props that they actually use in all their YouTube videos, so definitely go and check them out in the description, they'll be on the screen right now, boom. Uh, I've, I've watched their content quite a lot in the past, so seeing them here was rather a surprise, and just seeing how all these things were made up close, like, well, not how they were made, but just... The, the scope of it all. Like, you really had to be there to understand that the people who were there will know exactly what I mean, but you understand. Just G-Scale Sodor, Harold the Shunter, all of it is just... It was mind-blowing! I mean, even like the set design, they did little sets as well. I couldn't believe it. It was immense. It was unreal. It was... It felt like a dream. A dream come true. That's what this was. Also, to all the Thomas fans on Twitter, do me a favor, get the following clip on trending. That's the final train. Duncan's running the last train. Okay, I did not expect this to happen at all, but hang on. Hello. This guy, this man recognized me. This actually happened. Subscribe. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have a YouTube actually? Yeah. Do you have a YouTube actually? I'm, 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 no, I'm not a YouTuber, I'm just a regular fan. Oh, oh, you're not a YouTuber? Fair enough, bro. Not. Fair oh, enough, bro. Okay. Uh, Peace Little Owl. Little Owl? Yeah. yeah. Is that another one? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Peace and Love Scooters. So. Hello. Little Yes, I am. <laughs> so, we just finished our day. It was a lot of fun, wasn't Ooh. it? Yeah. Uh, I did. I think Luke is still at the mountain, so I didn't get to meet him. And also Tums, I think, left like 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Um, he seemed in a rush, so I didn't bother him. But as a result, yeah. I missed him. Damn it. I'm going to send him this, though. So it, I at least saw him yeah, in yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. And I at least got, got to hear. Discord, yeah. yeah, I've got his Discord as well. So uh, yeah. yeah, that's something at least. Um, but yeah, there's, n there's next year. 2024 still exists if the human race is still here. We have still around. Yeah, if the human race still exists by then. So what are we I'd doing now? Really I normally be really talking yeah. around this thing, but I'm just speechless. Yeah, he got recognised. Like both three, three, three or four times. Three or four. Oh, oh, pardon me. Oh. I think. Um, yeah, we're just jealous of you, know, Jack. Oh, so I'm, I'm jelly. Sorry. Jelly. Yeah. We're going out. We're oh. going out to meet one of the guys we met for fish and chips. Actually. Yes, we are. I'll there'll probably. Be, there'll be alternatives, Charlie. There'll be alternatives. Yes, there will be. I'm yeah. not a. I'm not a seafood guy, but yeah. There'll be alternatives. Definitely. So what do we do tonight at the hotel? Will you just chill? Probably. Just chill. Yeah. All yeah. right. You probably hear audio in the background. It's Charlie replaying clips from today. He is definitely more. And. I really have no words, guys. I, to be honest, I will do a full, um, one thing I plan on doing is that when I get home, I'm going to plan on doing an ode to Audrey video, uh, Audrey Extravaganza video, uh, where I give a few shout outs to the people that were there, um, also, uh, show you some of the stuff I got, like, properly, but, um, 
I'll give you a quick rundown though. So, um. So who do we say was there? So. Thomas Fan 2002. Thomas Fan 2002. Actually, I didn't realise it was him when I when I talked to him. To be honest, I had yeah. no idea it was him. Um, piece of JVA was there. We didn't see him, but we saw his Insta posts after uh, posts afterwards. Usual bloke Luke, we spotted him a few times. Terrace 55 Stepney, obviously, he was doing a live stream. We've got a picture with him. Oh, yeah, Rose the QT 1995, I think it is? Yeah. Yeah. Holy moly, it was such an honour meeting her. Like, she, like, we did talk, like, I did talk about, because obviously I'm in the same server as her. We did, like, um, a few people did talk about getting together, but it was actually, it was actually really fun. It was actually really funny. If you see in the footage, which Charlie hopefully edits, Mm -hmm. Um, you can hear, you can hear, like, a, a you can hear a, a Welsh, a very Welsh voice saying, hello, are you a little, it, excuse me, Mr. Little Owl, or something like that. And it was just because every, behind, everyone else was, um, because someone else screamed my name because they knew who I was. And so that kind of brought attention to her. So it was, it was really nice meeting her. It was very, very cool. And on the note of that, we got recognised a few times. Which um, I will give. I'll go into full detail of like shout outs and stuff for um, for uh, the actual video. But <sighs> to go there and be recognised was not something I was expecting at all. We talked. We joked about it. Yeah. Like we we seriously joked about it, but I had no idea it was that it was going to be legit. But lo and behold, people actually recognised me. So. Um... You know, somebody complimented my uh, no happy ending uh, story. Um, and yeah, also tons of Trackmaster was there, who you're a big fan. I've never heard of him, but he's, they... he's pretty big in the play world business, which yeah. I'm in. So fair enough. So and yeah, you know him, but um, it's just such a good thing, man. It's so just an amazing, yeah. amazing event, and definitely go to it if you don't have the chance. This is. Uh, probably yearly tradition for us now, I think. Oh, yeah. Granted, it depends. <laughs> it depends on a lot of factors, obviously, but, um... I just can't believe the Thomas fandom has done something like this. Like, I know the Telefilm Railway is, is separate, but at the same time, it's like, just this place where the fandom can go and absolutely geek out on... Thomas the Tank Engine of all things. It's incredible. It's what we, it's what people like us have dreamed of for the longest time. Like, seriously, I've been, I've been dreaming of this for a very long time, and meeting those people, and getting to work alongside them as well. Like younger me would have flipped at some of the stuff, I, some of the people I got to talk to, and some of the stuff I managed to get up to. I honestly, I feel like crying. I'm gonna be honest. I do feel like I do feel like crying. Like I said, full video will be. Let's just say I'm sort of falling in lo love with this fandom all over again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm falling in love with this fandom again. Me too. And that's where the story should end. <laughs> but it wasn't. And I was hungry for more. So guys, it's morning. What are we doing now? Breakfast. Breakfast. Getting a very hearty breakfast. I'm getting a very massive full English breakfast with a hot chocolate of free refills. I'm super hungry and super thirsty. I've still got an overdose on sugar hype from yesterday. Yeah. The, the plan for today is, you guys are heading home, yeah. and I'm going back for day two, because... I the, wish I could go, The feeling, yeah. the feeling um, of just being there is really good. Honestly, train, 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 train times, times are a nightmare. They but are. I will say one thing, look out for, I'm not, it'll probably come out before his vlog, but um, I'm when I get home, I'm gonna do a... Um, 
uh, thoughts basically and wrap, uh, thoughts and feelings, wrap up, basically show you some of the stuff I've got. So that'll be on my channel when I get home, hopefully. Yeah. So Does it, and if you want to subscribe, go up to that channel over there. Because <laughs> at the station yesterday, that the camera we were, to him when he was well, talking about me. <laughs> when we were, actually no, subscribe to this man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to this man. Subscribe to him. All of us are going to be at the top of the description. So yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much, yeah, hundred percent. Put so, it in a pin comment actually, because no one reads comment. the description. Remember? No. One, oh yeah, no one ever reads the description. <laughs> we went on a whole tangent about that yesterday. We'll, just, we'll leave a comment so just saying subscribe to us, subscribe to us, subscribe to us. Yeah, constantly. It'll just, just like spam. <laughs> yeah, just like a thousand comments just being like, why haven't you subscribed to us yet? Why haven't you subscribed to us yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just keep replying like, like, constantly. Can you subscribe to us? No, if I subscribe to you, will you please shut up? Thomas, you're gonna miss me. Yeah. Yeah. This was fun though. Honestly, a lot of fun. First time meeting. Good stuff. There's Jack. <laughs> Are you gonna miss me? Am I missable? Are you going to miss me when I leave? Let me put it, let me put it this way. No. Mate. No. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting. <laughs> it's, it's, been, it's been awesome. No, it's been great. It's been a lot of fun, yeah. Say. And we will do this again next year. Oh, absolutely. 100%. And we don't have to wait until the old show again. We can just clean up and down. Yeah, we can just clean up, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. super easy now. We come down to the lots of lots of other you know, Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We'll have, we'll have a day out in London or something. Yeah, yeah that'd be great. Yeah, but yeah, honestly, it's been great seeing you guys for the first time. I know, it's, it's insane, man. It's insane, man. Definitely. Yeah. So thanks. And especially Thomas for organizing oh all of God, this. Yeah. yeah we, this all we are not worthy. <laughs> we are not worthy. You probably, you probably can't see my hands, can you? <laughs> <laughs> we fought tooth and veil for this and we did it. So, yeah, yeah. well done to everyone. Yeah, Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye guys, whenever the train decides to leave. There we go, you can just see them. Jack's there, Thomas is there. Goodbye, goodbye. Off they go. Bye Jack, bye Thomas. And as for me, I'm going back for round two. Okay, so to begin with, I took these three pictures, and it's it's a rather nice recreation, a little mini sculpted recreation of, like, Toby's Railway with, like, the dip before the level crossing. It looks really good, but I forgot who made it. If, if the person that made this finds this video, make yourself known in the comments. I want to credit you for this, because it's absolutely incredible. And also to the person who had the Duncan, like, chibi thing. Do, you make yourself known as well, because this is adorable. I love this, and I love that Oliver is just derpy-eyed here. Then after that, Foodie the Fox and Sea Swine 9 and I went to the back areas of the station and discovered all of this train machinery stuff, and... I, again, I can't put it into words, so I'm just gonna show you all of this awesome stuff that we we saw. We, it was incredible. You can get in that one. You can, you can actually go inside the engine. <laughs> Have a lean out. <laughs> oh, a good, a good pat for the engine. Baby. Hey, baby. Edward Thomas. Oh my god. Oh, I want to achieve this with my modeling skills someday. Rough pup. Just going to get all this. And of course. Mr. Coffee Pot. George Henry. No one knows how the song goes, but it is still a bop. <laughs> we then went upstairs to check out the little Audrey Railway, and seeing his actual models in action, it was so bizarre to see the man that made my childhood, his actual models, moving and, and still working after all this time. It was something else. It's getting to see all of this. And this is my first time here. So it's really surreal to actually see all this. And apparently the third person that was meant to join Foodie and Sea Swine didn't show up after they bought the three tickets to like the back areas where you could look at the show's props and everything just front and center. And they said, hey, do you, do you want to come in instead? And I was like, yeah! These are the props, everyone. They use these in the show, and they're right in front of us. 
Is that? Is this the map of? And this is the map of the Scholarly Railway. Wow. Oh my god. Hang on. I'm just gonna slow pan through all this. Oh my god. <laughs> Seeing these props in person was beyond me. I couldn't, like, I was in, I felt like I was in a dream looking at all of this. It was absolutely incredible seeing, like, the C, not only the model stuff, but, like, the original, like, CGI booklets and everything of each of the models. Seeing what the up-close prop of Rusty looked like. I, I don't think I can even, it was too much to handle. Wait, it's the boy. It's the boy. It's the boy. But the guy I was talking to was right yesterday. They, they do have puffy cheeks. But that was just the Miller era. They gave the, all the engines puffy cheeks. It's cute. Sorry if I'm going a bit too fast. I'm just. That's fine. I'm sure my viewers can just pause and take a look. The sky. The sky. It's just nice to hear this music in the background. Is it the season, season 7 variant or. Oh. Yeah, it's slightly changing. Yeah, it's changing to like the hit era stuff now. No, I think it's the season seven theme. Oh, season seven, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's uh, that wonderful evening sky. I'll put it back to the front for everyone else. <laughs> Seeing the little magician popping out of the coach, just like, hello. And by God, I was not prepared to see how massive the season five actual prop of Scar Louie was in real life. He's huge! Like, I was expecting him to be like the size of, I don't know, uh, the, a tea mug, but no, he is much bigger. And all the large scale faces of Scarlo just looked fantastic. I don't think I could even choose a favorite. Actually, it might be that one right up there. I like that one. That little smirk. Okay, instead of just talking over the Henry clip, I'm just gonna show you because just the beginning of this clip is pretty funny, so enjoy this Henry footage. That music is so perfect for the face Henry has right now. The aesthetic, the look of the TV show is all Dalby. Mm -hmm. And I think from the first few seasons at least, every expression from the main characters you can trace to a Dalby illustration. You could. So like this, this one is this right one here. is it's one on one. And like I, I reckon if you go through like all the first like original Dalby books, you can find a match. Perfect match yeah. I can't believe like this is this the actual prop from the show? This is the one from nineteen in eighty four. This is the original Henry. Um you can see actually. So this is the Henry in the first season of the show, so when he's in his old shape, they've had his old firebox. Yeah. And then when he's in his new shape, they swapped it out. But by mm. season three, they're like, well, we don't need old shape Henry anymore. So they glued this firebox in place. And you can actually see a little bit of that Please. down there. Yeah. Like, like a scene like the chicken hook, because it was added afterwards. And the old firebox, Mattel still has. And somewhere. Somewhere. But because it was never needed, it's still got the original season one paint. Whereas this has been repainted to keep up with the show. Yeah. yeah. What's this? Parts for Henry. So is that is that for this? Yeah. So this is Wilbur's Henry. Oh, oh, yeah. Out. He was midway through rebuilding it when mm -hmm. he passed away, unfortunately. Uh, but because of that, we have an insight into you know a work in progress for Wilbur. And so rather than try and restore it ourselves, yeah, it's sort of left in situ as an example of his, like, because we've got plenty of his locals that still work. <laughs> yeah. There was also this, like, really, really, really tiny, like, Tally Lynn or Scarlowy Railway, like, model, like, behind glass thing at the, the far end of the room, which no one was really paying any mind, so I thought I would myself, and my god, it looks really nice. Unfortunately, a tragedy occurred, and we lost the ice cream man. How sad. Moving outside for a while, we got to look at all of these incredible custom Tomy slash Playrail slash Trackmaster Thomas props, and they looked really, really good. Um, I forgot who it was that did these, um, so I apologize for that, but if 
if you make yourself known in the comments, I will heart your comment as well. Seeing this stuff just like in person at the time, with me, my happy face and my little hot chocolate. Oh, I haven't made some time for my Mario Brothers plumbing van and Angry Thomas to fit in. They seem pretty happy to be there. Also remember to always pat the Oliver. This is a rule now of the Audrey Extravaganza. Next time all of you go, all of you watching, pat the Oliver should you see an Oliver. Also, did I mention how gorgeous the weather was the following day? I, I'm actually kind of sad that Jack and Thomas went here to experience this because it was wonderful weather. It really felt like a big day on the Scarlowy Railway. Soon I let Foodie and Sea Swine do their own thing for the rest of the day while meanwhile I hung out with Tons of Trackmasters, YES, and Super Thomas Eli 99. You know, the I am currently hitting the gritty guy and the Paxton goes on Twitter guy. <laughs> yeah, you know them. Also, tons of Trackmasters, since I know you're gonna be watching this, I have to say it, this following clip sounds just like you. Please don't hate me. Guys, is this Freddy Fazbear? Oh, 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 oh. You are every flavor of welcome for that! Unfortunately though, Rustin broke down. No, and he had to be dragged away by another diesel. Never to be seen again. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. He'll, he'll, he'll probably be back next year. Later, Rusty. Taking him away. Taking him away. We'll never see him again. Buffer him, Buffer him, He's going, to, he's going to get surgery. He'll be the new face of next year. Is he getting Ari Bell or something? I'd like to hope so. Maybe, maybe he'll get a new face. He must be getting old soon, because he is... He's dude. getting old. He'll, def he'll, he'll definitely, he'll like definitely he's be, he's be the main star next year. So yeah, so without doubt. He'll be fine. Oh, really? He'll be fine. But he wasn't. He wasn't fine at all. He went to hell. <laughs> he went to hell. We did briefly return back upstairs for a few moments to see Toby attempt to pull a train. and got a pretty nice overview of the entire area of the station. And then there was just this one lonely diesel just sitting by himself. And when we got back downstairs, our boy Smudger arrived. It's Smudger. It's Smudger. And here comes number two, Smudger forward slash. Forward slash, yes. Arriving into shot with the P55 train to <laughs> Definitely not 455, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back. And just after I got a picture with him, I ran in to usual bloke Luke. This made the trip for me. I have wanted to meet this guy for so unbelievably long. He has been one of the biggest inspirations right next to Unlucky Tug for any Thomas related video I've ever put together, SFM or not. Not even stuff that's like just related to Thomas, but to look at things with a more critical eye and just like go into deep analysis of anything I really like watch. I, I don't know how to piece it together, but I did definitely thank him for just being a huge inspiration to the content that I do. And hearing him tell me that that made his day just felt so good. I, it felt great to meet him. For the few seconds that we talked, Luke, I salute you. You're a, you can't see it, but I'm saluting you as I'm recording this. You're you're an absolutely great guy to talk to for the little time that we could, and just thank you. Shortly after chilling out for a bit, Duncan returned to the station once again to prepare for his final train of the whole event. It's number three. Number three. <laughs> Hey Duncan. Hey Duncan. Welcome back. <laughs> Angry as all. Uh, I'm done. And just after Duncan got back, tons of trackmasters had to bid us adieu, so it was just me and Super Thomas Eli left behind. Although Duncan didn't seem too upset that any of us were leaving. Well, screw you too, Duncan. Well, I'll be leaving shortly. Going back home, got work tomorrow. Oh no. Oh, mm, oh, I hate work. But it's money, so it's fine, I think. <laughs> I think. So, Sorry, yeah, all good. Just filming the last of the vlog here. So, it's a goodbye from all of us here at Tallywin. 
Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. So long. And a goodbye from Duncan. Before Duncan could bugger off without saying goodbye, all of us who were left at the station got a lovely photo together. And so after the final photo, we all said our goodbyes to Duncan and the Tallyland Railway one last time. Goodbye, Duncan! Bye, Duncan! Bye, everyone! Bye, so long, everybody! Bye, everyone! You're a good one! <laughs> uh, goodbye, Duncan! Goodbye, everyone! Party's over! Party's over! Pack it up, everyone! Time to go home! Let's go home, everyone! Ugh. Finally, I get to go home. Oh, I've hated it here. Excuse me, real quick. What was that? Was someone trying to talk to me? Was I recognized? Why, yes, I was. By Connors. Although for this video, they DM'd me requesting I blurred out their face. They have the unblurred version though, so they're happy with that. But it was nice to get to meet a fan. So, and that's the first time that's ever happened to me. So, thank you very much, Connors, and I hope you enjoyed the event just as much as the rest of us. However, before I left though. I wanted to get one final shot of just the empty station. And it was while taking this video I realized I'm really going to miss this place. But it will still be here next year, same as ever, when I come back for the next event in 2024. <sighs> okay, it's a couple of days later, it's Tuesday now, so uh, I'm on break from work. I didn't want to record any sort of epilogue or anything. Um, yesterday, because I didn't get home until 6 in the morning, because uh, I had to catch a bunch of coaches from here to there. Yeah, I think tomorrow I'm going to do some unboxing. I feel like I'll put it, I'll put it in this video just so everything that I did with the tally Lynn is in this one video. So yeah, uh, thanks to everyone who was there, tons of track masters. C Swine, Usual Bloke Luke, and especially Thomas Lawrence and Little Owl. You guys are the best, and I can't wait to do this again next year. Okay, I, I will see you guys in just a moment for some unboxing. Oh, Welsh, Welsh accent coming in there. Uh, I'll see you guys in a second for some unboxing. Goodbye. Okay, so we ended up collecting some pretty cool merchandise, and um, now that I'm kind of flexing on all of you here with all the merchandise I have here, um, especially the, the Thomas over there, um, that's now a little smudged, uh, Stamp Play Rail Store. I may need another one, so I'll, I'll contact you about that some point next month, maybe. Uh, also brought the Mario van, because, you know, it's just the Mario van. Train Boy didn't show up this year, um, so that's unfortunate, so I thought I'd, you know, fill in for him. Um, since he likes to use the Mario van with his Thomas Play Rail stuff sometimes, so you're welcome, Train Boy. Um, I want royalty. Anyway, let's take a look at the, the stuff that we got. So, of course, as you can see in some of the pictures and videos that you saw just now, uh, the hat, I have the Audrey Extravaganza 2023 cap. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's comfy, it's, it's blue, which, you know, I love blue. Blue's my favorite color. Um, not much to it, just got our boy Duncan on there. Um, I'm trying to see past the, the camera. Yeah, that's definitely Duncan, unless I'm stupid, but you know, yeah. Not much, not much to it, it's just a uh... hat. Um, also, because I like tea so much and I'm so obsessed with tea, I had to get the uh, Audrey Extravaganza Peter Sam mug. And for... We didn't actually get to see Peter Sam. Uh, at least I didn't. I don't know if anyone else got to um, on Friday, but he definitely wasn't there Saturday or Sunday. Um, 
at least when I showed up, because I was there around like midday on both days, but you know, maybe we'll see him next year. I mean, I, I hope we're gonna get to see more of like these kind of faces, because Duncan got a new face this year. I don't know if that was announced at all, but it's the first time I've seen Duncan with a new face. So I think the only ones with faces of like Thomas quality by Mads um, are Peter Sam and Duncan. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the case. So yeah, it's, it's, it's round, it's muggy, um, you can drink out of it, that's about it. it. It does the things that a mug should do. Yeah, all in all, great, lovely mug. I love the cartoony nature of it. Whoever, whoever did the art uh, is, they deserve an Emmy, honestly. Wait, is that an engine at the back? Hang on. No, that's not an engine at the back. I thought that was Duncan pushing him. Never mind. Next, uh, we got two gifts that I got from uh, Jack, you know, at Little Owl 2003. I hope I'm getting that right. Uh, and the first one of which is Percy the Small Engine, the, the Railway Series book, yay! Uh, I, I do actually have two Railway Series books, one of which is actually signed by the Reverend himself. Um, and I will be showing that on camera to prove it so I can flex even more on you guys. Because I told some people I had, uh, which, which book is it? Tank Engine Thomas again. Yeah. Um, which is the one I have signed by Reverend. So, you know, a couple of people were a little jelly, so uh, I'll be able to flex on you guys. Uh, speaking of signatures, oh, this takes me back. Look at this. Oh, this takes me back to just simpler times. Oh, God, I'm gonna just look at this for a sec, guys. Just bear with me. All right, so on the next page, we got a couple signatures. So, you, you know, we got some nice signatures here. Tons of track masters, usual bloke Luke. Um, so some other people. There was nothing quite like it. There really is no community like the Thomas the Tank Engine community. It's great. Really, really, there's not much else I could say about this, but just thanks to everyone who signed this. And um, I'm gonna get all the other Railway Series books when I go back next year. Uh, the other gift I got uh, from Little Owl, my boy, is this. The same kind of art that's on the mug, except this time it's, 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 it's a mat. It's a mat, a little computer mouse mat. The scent of a pure, good computer mouse. Oh yeah, well maybe it's not or maybe it's not a mouse man, maybe it's just like something for the coffee table, I don't know. How do you guys use these things? I'm pretty sure they are mouse mats, it looks big enough to be a mouse mat. But it might also be something for the coffee table. I don't know, but I like I like the feel of it, it's very foamy. I'm gonna keep it well cleaned and everything because this is, you know, it's Thomas merch. I, I have to take care of it more than NAF merch. Thomas community is more important to me nowadays. Anyway, we've got uh, two more little things to look through. So the first uh, is this little little keychain of um, our little rock and roll boy, Duncan. Then I committed a sin. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for what you are about to see. I did something no Thomas fan should ever do. Brace yourselves. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. You are not seeing that wrong. I bought... I bought all engines go Thomas. Okay, I bought it, I bought it for the pure reason of just like, you know, uh, 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 mm, uh, I was gonna buy him for a skit, but then I decided to just have him featured in the unboxing, uh, well, more merchandise show off scene. Um, I can already hear the cancellation tweets from all the Thomas fans on YouTube right now. I'm sorry. I will not be taking him out of that packaging though, don't worry. And it's just like, it's a push along, I believe. Um, at least they actually keep the, the couplings. The, the one key feature that Trackmaster was known for. <laughs> so, you, you know, it's just, it's, just, it's just one, right? What does that say? Metal engine? I'm pretty sure it's not made of metal, guys. That, that looks like plastic to me. And I, I don't want to open it to find out because I feel like if I open it, he's going to do really horrible things to me while I sleep. Like he will sneak up on me with some sort of kitchen utensil and So sure it's it's Thomas. I just bought Thomas. You, you know, it's it's not a big thing, you know, I just bought Thomas. I can explain. Yes, okay, yeah. I bought Poisy. I bought a Poisy. I'm Cause you know, it's like that TikTok meme. It's like, I only need one. I only need one, right? But 
you know, he's got to have a friend. Um, same thing with Percy. I mean, I mean, what if they get sick of each other? Maybe they will need a third one, you know? If, if they need... I mean, I might as well just get the whole set right there, so... I didn't buy any more All Engines Go things, okay? Don't worry, this, this was all I got. This is all I'm ever gonna buy. It's just like, I got Thomas and Percy, but, like, I thought... Mm, hit era, you know, um, the three of them were a unit during the hit era. It was like they were the main three characters of the, the whole franchise. And I kind of grew up during the hit era, so it felt wrong not to get them. Because if you get Thomas, then you feel like you need to give him a friend, aka his bestie Percy. And, you know, growing up in hit era, gotta get James. I mean, come on, come on. You know, I'll give all engines go a few, like, minor um good points okay the uk voice actors are all right okay i much prefer just the show itself but like you know whatever sure um their merchandise looks all right though i don't like i'm not a fan of that okay the gacha club art style does not fit thomas tankington in the slightest um like i love gacha club i love thomas but i would never combine the two uh, at least James's tender is detachable, so that's something. Metal. Metal. You're all made of plastic! How are these metal? They're not... They're not take-alongs. They're not take-and-play. Those were metal. This does... No. I'm not seeing any metal. Okay, well, the screws, yeah, but that's it. I, okay, sure, fine, whatever. So yeah, that's um, that's all of the merchandise that I bought from the Reverend Audrey Extravaganza, ladies and gentlemen. Quite a bit, sure, but um, you can never have too much, Thomas. I, I think I'm happy with everything I got at this extravaganza. So, um... Even even going as far as the shopkeepers of the extravaganza on the Saturday that I got all of this stuff and the Sunday, uh, thank you for being such nice people as well, because uh, this is all great. I don't even know if I want to use the mug to drink tea. If I I don't I might even just leave it the way it is just because I don't want to I don't want to spoil its perfection. You get the idea. It's it's all perfect, but you know, I, yeah. But uh, that's all the merchandise, folks. It looks lovely, and I I will not be taking these three out of their casing because they'll probably in my sleep. I can see Thomas doesn't approve of my purchases. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? You're the one with the smudged eyebrow. That's your fault. You wanted to stay in my bag the whole time, so I got some more happy clients. You know? It's your fault. You have like sun and moon over there. Give us a smile. No, he don't want to give us a smile. All right, fine. No, I see how it is, Thomas. I see how it is. And now to end this vlog the same way we started it. With, um, I could only think of one perfect way to end this vlog, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I want to especially thank, before we end off, uh, Jack and Thomas, thank you so much for letting me come with you to the extravaganza. And to everyone who was at the extravaganza, I thank you. It, it was such an amazing ride, and you can be sure that I'll be back for more in 2024. So, it's a goodbye from me, and um, cue the music, someone. Yeah, we're going to end off like this. I just want to give one final thank you to everyone who went to the extravaganza, everyone who hung out with me, everyone who, like, I, 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 I'm just rambling here, but there was no experience in my life ever that I felt this proud to be in a community, not ever. And, and this is coming from someone whose channel was built off Five Nights at Freddy's and not Thomas the Tank Engine in any way, shape, or form. And I think of all the fandoms I've been in, all of them, I am the most proud to be a part of the Thomas the Tank Engine community. It's just so... It's such a big 
loving, welcoming, fun, enjoyable community of good, good people. And it wasn't until this event, it wasn't until I actually went to an event where I could interact with other Thomas fans I've watched over the years on YouTube, or people I'd never watched before, that I truly understood how much it means to me. How much this little train with the rolling eyes means to me. Thank you, all of you. And though Thomas content is ending on this channel, it will continue to puff on on my second channel, of course. It's just such an honor to be a part of this community. Like, it's like... I say it's like an honor, you don't need a VIP pass to get in to a community, it's just something about the Thomas fandom feels so... It feels like home. And I'm going to level with you guys, I was going through a rough time through the whole weekend. For personal reasons I, I won't go into it, but I was going through a pretty rough thing. Um, the only Jack and Thomas know about because um, we spoke about it briefly at the hotel and they acknowledged it was a rough time. But even that, even as bad as that was, could not knock the incredible time that I had at this extravaganza. Nothing got me down the whole time. I was overjoyed. I was so happy. It was the happiest I felt like I'd been in a long time in the community. And it is because of that I will be returning next year to the next extravaganza hungry for so much more. Even if it's just more of the same, if it's a repeat of this year, I don't care. I just want to do this again and again and again every year. This is a yearly tradition now. Thomas, Jack and I have agreed that we are going to go to this every year. We are going to go to this extravaganza every single year, whether it's just for one day, two days, or if we just spend a whole three days there. All of you have made this one of the best weekends of my entire life. This event made 2023 for me. This was the best thing to come out of 2023. Thank you, usual bloke Luke. Thank you, tons of Trackmasters. Thank you, Super Thomas Eli99. Thank you, Foodie the Fox. Thank you, Sea Swine 9. Thank you, Peace and Love Scooters. Thank you, Engine Man. Thank you, Blue Shunter 13. Thank you, Thomas Fan 2002. Thank you to the Tally Lynn Railway. Thank you to the Thomas fans. Thank you especially to you, Little Owl, and you, Thomas Lawrence, for taking me on this incredible journey with the rest of the Thomas fans that I love so well. And thank all of you for watching the vlog. This is the Amazing Gamer 111. Signing off.